Hello there, Cancers. So first of all, let me talk about the relationships and love life um, because that seems to be coming out very strongly. Um, okay, so I feel like in the past, let's talk about the past. There was, um, you know, this need to, to play the nice guy, okay? And you can be a female too, wanting to please other people. And um, I feel like, you know, you, you were looking for fun and excitement, looking for, looking to belong in a specific group. And so I feel like you might have altered your identity, alter your true self in order to fit in. And um, I'm seeing this across, you know, different age groups as well. You, you, you're not just young trying to fit in. Um, I feel like it's, it's this energy within you about wanting to be likable, wanting to adapting your identity in order to belong to a group. And I feel like you're not doing it like consciously. It's very, very subconscious because a big part of you uh, really like to be able to relate to other people really like to, you know, you, you change your vibration depending on who you're dealing with. And so there, there is a major maturation process I feel happening here where those people that you wanted to cater to, that you wanted to appeal to, that you really wanted to click with and jive with, they're not really that great for you. They, they seem like they're not as reliable. They seem like they're not as emotionally stable. And yes, being with them was very fun. It was very exciting. But when it comes to, you know, um, over time, you, you might have like lost contact with them. And then when you reconnect with them, you're just like, oh, wow, I am leaps and bounds ahead of them. They're still stuck in the past. I've already evolved and I've already moved on. So there's this now, this emotional disconnect. It's almost like, we don't really have anything in common anymore. We don't really have anything to talk about. Life is not all about fun and games and being irresponsible. Life is about taking charge, taking opportunities, um, growing. And so you've done a massive process of growing the past three years. And I feel like the people that you have been interacting with, they're not really growing. They're stagnant. They're still living in the past. They still have a very childish behavior about them and they don't really have a strong sense of personal responsibility and so when you're with them you might try to give them advice you might say something and then they make it into a joke and that can be very aggravating so i feel that many of you are just kind of moving on you're taking care of your own things and you're just like these are not good people for me i can't really um, hang out with them anymore. I'm going to have to kind of uh, declutter my friendship sector and find people who are like-minded. And I also feel in relationships as well, having a, 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 a myriad of, you know, very exciting, um, physically gratifying, emotional relationships. But at the end of the day, the people were not ready to commit or the people were not reliable. You know, I feel like the, the past few uh, months for you, uh, life really caught up with you. It's like you had a lot of things you needed to take care of. You had to grow up. You had to be responsible. And so your time is limited. And so when you tell a friend or a, um, a, a date, let's meet at this time. Um, let's meet at this location at this time. And you set aside, you know, three hours to really hang out with them, to be in the present moment with them. And then they changed the plans without telling you. It's it, it, it dawned on you that that's very inconsiderate. And so you don't have time to waste anymore. You don't have time to waste with riffraff. You don't have time to waste with um, meaningless conversation. So I feel like you're getting a lot more serious. You're getting a lot th of things done. And people are struggling to really catch up with you. And you're, you're leaving them, them in the dust, which is fine because I feel like you're outgrowing your circumstances, okay? So having said that, um, you are giving your love to a new person. I feel like a lot of relationships strengthening, getting serious, and um, you're really, really giving all of yourself to a new relationship partner. Um, I feel that the relationship sector, it feels really good because you're with somebody 
who is just on the same level as you. You talk and they understand without you having to over explain. They themselves have been through a lot, so they're a lot more responsible. They're a lot more, I want to say, like, they take personal responsibilities for their actions. They don't play the victim. They don't play, you know, push responsibilities off to other people. So I feel like you're meeting somebody halfway. They're meeting you halfway, you're meeting them halfway. And you both are coming together in a very beautiful way. Um, in the work sector for the next two weeks, be careful about um, losing your temper. Be careful about, you know, feeling frustrated, feeling misunderstood or feeling as if, you know, the, the, that whole concept about office politics, people get, tend to get into cliques and then it becomes like us versus them. So I feel that element coming in. Um, you don't need to play the nice guy to win people over. You At work especially, you just need to do your job and you just need to um, show that you're a good worker because I feel like they don't need to like you. They just need to respect you. So I feel like there's a big paradigm shift here regarding interpersonal relationships, regarding who cares if they like you. They just need to respect you. So do the things that you need to do to be true to yourself all the while taking care of things that you need to do to get ahead and you know those interpersonal relationships will resolve on their own okay cancers um you have a lot of potential about you but i feel that because you're so other oriented you spin your wheels and uh, what I mean by that is, I, I, I feel like you have, you know, a lot to offer. And uh, if you were a little bit more directed with your energy, if you draw back your energy and not give it away to people that don't deserve it, you can accomplish a lot. You can move mountains. You can, like, knock down every single obstacle that's in your way. But I feel like there's this internal sense of self-doubt. There's this uh, almost Virgo and energy of, am I good enough? Am I capable? It's like always second guessing yourself. And so whatever, the, the, whatever you're dealing with, I feel like your current relationship partner, it can also make or break you. If you're with somebody that is very emotionally supportive and they get, tell you, you know, yes, I believe in you, you can do all of those things, then you're going to feel that strength in number and you're going to feel very, very good. You're going to feel very elated and you're going to knock down these obstacles. If you are in a relationship where you're not getting that emotional support from your partner and your partner can be very critical, they can be wrapped up in themselves, they can be, you know, constantly questioning and doubting whether or not you love them. If they constantly create a lot of stress for you, then I feel like your energy is being dissipated towards reassuring them rather than them, you know, providing that support or that internal self reassurance for themselves. So that's where the blockages are. Conserving your energy and devoting your energy towards positive results oriented projects result-oriented people, result-oriented relationships. This is where this paradigm shift needs to happen for you so that you can achieve a lot more in life, okay? Um, I'm going to leave it at that. And um, I feel like the housing situation, you want a new place. You're scoping new territory. You're looking out. You're like going online, looking at listings. Um, it's fine. It, it's fine to do that. But I feel like you might want to do this or, you know, really think about it seriously by January. I feel it's a better time frame for you to get that one out of the way. OK, and especially landing a house or a new place of living, that's going to be very good for you. And so I can't stress enough, you know, close some doors on the past, move on. OK, um, I'm going to leave that for you and I'll be back in the November uh, reading. And um, I wish you all the best. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.